Pua. Pua. Hey guys, it's Flux here, and with the Mac release of SimCity 5 coming just around the corner here, I thought, why don't I make a video and kind of cover that big question I've been getting on my channel for so long now, which is, is SimCity 5 worth the money? Had the bugs been fixed? Is the gameplay playable now? And uh, how is the game in general? So I will cover all that stuff in this video and let you guys kind of know uh, what's going on with SimCity 5 nowadays, like almost five months after the release. So uh, if you're looking for any of that stuff, this was the video for you, and uh, yeah, let's get started. All right, so I think we all know that SimC5 kind of had an unfortunate launch. Uh, we know that EA and Max has both made their fair share of mistakes, and because of that, the game kind of got a lot of flack when it first released. Uh, servers didn't work, game was down, people were unhappy, and DRM prevented us from playing the game, even though it's a single-player game. Uh, but I'm not going to go too far into that because, obviously, most of us know about that already, and if you don't, you can look it up on the internet basically anywhere because it got so much flack off release. I think... Uh, actually, it was like rated one of the worst products on Amazon after it first came out, like 3,000 or so one stars. So, uh, unfortunately, it did have that release, but I think we should all look past that now. We are uh, almost five months in, or actually above five months into the game's uh, lifetime now, and the servers are fixed. The game is now playable to an extent, and uh, now we can kind of move on and look at the pros and cons of the game, and not as much about what people thought about it when it first came out. So, let's look past that and go on to the pros and cons. So SimCity 2013 was definitely a very groundbreaking game for the SimCity franchise. It was made 10 years after the last SimCity and it had a lot of hype, but more importantly they were targeting a new audience this time. They weren't just targeting their previous fans, they wanted to make the game easy for uh, any new players that wanted to try this game and they wanted to kind of target new audiences that hadn't seen the SimCity franchise before. Uh, when doing this, I do think that they made a lot of good decisions and bad decisions, but let's go ahead and look at the good things they did with this game. So, number one, I think that they definitely hammered the UI. It was perfect. Uh, the way they did it, they made it uh, very simple to use. They give you notifications whenever things are going wrong, and of course, it's very easy to navigate, um, and the game is very smooth. The gameplay is very nice because of it. It's very easy to, you know, plop down buildings you need. It's very easy. They, they all explain everything you need to know, just like they did in the previous games, but in very much more depth, and it's easy to kind of see, uh, you know, with the add-ons and things like that, what you need to do to add to make this thing, uh, you know, or whatever you're working on, whether it be fire stations or police stations. It lets you kind of know what you need to do next and, uh, you know, what you should be doing to improve your city, much more than previous games have ever done before. Alright, so the next thing that really impressed me about SimCity 5 that I think a lot of people really like a lot about this game is definitely the road layout tool. The ability to make uh, curves and, and basically just organic roads whenever you want, wherever you want, is really, really awesome. It just creates a lot of personality in your cities and uh, it lets you make you know things you could never do before in any of the previous, uh, any previous SimCity or any real city simulator game. So, Props to SimCity for doing that. Uh, I do believe you could do that in Cities XL, but I think that in this game it's very intuitive and it's very easy to do, easy to use, and a lot of fun to play with. Now, the one thing about it that's a bit rough is actually zoning it properly. Uh, you got to really get down uh, what the zones are like and what you need to make the roads, you know, in terms of spacing and whatnot to really make the buildings fit in properly. They kind of grow in weird if you don't, and if you really want to make a really dense city, it's kind of difficult unless you know what you're doing when it comes to zoning and road layout, but that all comes to practice, and to me, honestly, this is a great addition to the game, made it a lot more fun. So the final thing for me that really makes SimCity a great game is the gameplay itself. Uh, the way that they do the, uh, the 3D graphics and the movement in the game really makes it very smooth and easy to pick up. Um, and to me, even though the graphics have been a bit better, they maybe could have been a bit higher texture qualities and you know, things of that nature, I do think that the 3D graphics really did improve this game and the way that they made everything look and they made all the you know the glass box animations and the real time simulation really does add a lot of personality to this game and makes it a lot of fun even to play with, even if you're just messing around in sandbox mode making random suburbs and stuff, or even planning out some ridiculous crazy empire city with big circle, you know, crop circle looking city or whatever you want to do it's a lot of fun and uh the way that the game works with the 3d graphics and the you know moving and gliding around really makes the game a lot of fun and very smooth gameplay while you're playing it all right now onto the cons here for this game uh, i think it's the thing we all had in our minds this whole time um from the release of the game and onward and the still eventual you know talks about it not ever being fixed from maxis uh, unfortunately, is the very, very, very small city sizes. Uh, they're extremely limiting in their size. They're just, they're very small. And uh, there's been lots of, you know, 
tweets and talking to Maxis and developers, and everyone has said so far that we've ever, that we, at least we've heard, uh, that the game can't handle having bigger city sizes, so therefore we're not going to get any bigger city sizes. And this, to me, is... I mean, it's very, very, very unfortunate. Because to me, the best part about SimCity was always, uh, you know, in SimCity 4 at least, you're making these massive metropolises that, you know, spread across a giant, you know, river and ocean and all this cool stuff. And you could just keep on expanding and making this huge, huge thing. And unfortunately in SimCity, it's like you got this little 2 by 2 kilometer, I think, is, is, the, is the, full, uh, the full size of it. It's very very small so you, you kind of are limited to you know making a simple small city and the only thing about that is it i mean you could always just make you know your cities in a large region but they don't really they're not next to each other so you can't do the whole thing in sim city 4 with the tiles where you keep building on outwards um because the tiles are all spread out a bit farther than they would be uh and on top of that it just kind of it makes it so you almost feel like you're making the same city over and over again right i mean with the city size is so small and the way the traffic AI works, you kind of got to just, you know, do a lot of things the same as you usually do. And it really, really, really kills the replayability. So uh, there have been a lot of mods out lately that have been uh, trying to unlock the city borders. And they've gotten pretty close so far. So uh, I wouldn't be surprised if someday we do get bigger cities. Maybe not by Maxis, but maybe by modders. We don't even know. Uh, but that is something to take into consideration when you're buying this game. That really, really is probably the number one crippling thing in this game right now is how small the city sizes are. Alright, so the next big thing that Maxis and EA in general really did wrong was the online DRM requirement. Now, if you don't know what online DRM is, basically, it requires an internet connection at all times while you're playing the game, even in single player mode, to, for the game to operate normally or even work at all. Um, and to me, this is kind of unnecessary, really. I mean, it's a single player game, we don't need this internet connection requirement on the game. And it really was one of those things that just got blown crazy, I mean, people took it and ran with it. Uh, on the internet everywhere saying why are they doing this what is you know what's up with this and i mean yes let's be honest i don't think most of us don't have a connection very often we're usually always on the internet regardless uh so to me it's not a huge deal but it's that's a drm game but to me the bigger issue here is what's it going to be like in 20 15 10 years whatever however long from now uh whenever they don't want to run the servers anymore you know what are they going to do right we're not going to have a game to play anymore there's going to be you know no servers running so the game is rendered useless and yeah there goes your sim city 5 game you can't look back on it in in however long from now and be like yeah it's a cool game because you can't even play it because of the dr requirements that are on a game it's single player so yeah to me it's unnecessary and it was a bad move but obviously what are you gonna do it makes them more money so why would they not do it all right now the final thing to me in this game that is second only to the small city sizes is the bad agent ai now if you don't know what an agent is, basically, agents in this game are the things that determine how everything works in the simulation part of the game. So, uh, whether it is the traffic, or the emergency utilities, or the even the trading within city to city, all those things are run by agents, or, you know, things you can't really see that are, that are moving back and forth, and creating calculations uh, that basically affect how the game works. And unfortunately, uh, they're not really up to par. They're the one thing they really need to just hammer down to make the game uh, work properly and of course they don't work very very well um, because of this the AI of the traffic is not good and the traffic uh, tends to just bunch up and get horrible anywhere past 200,000 people in your city almost regardless of how you make your city uh, same thing with the trade is very laggy and the emergency utilities just like wait in traffic and there's endless bugs honestly uh, in these uh, these portions of the game and fortunately Maxis is being very active and trying to fix all of these, but at the same time, you got to remember that uh, even now, five months out in the game, the game is still has some crippling bugs that made the game very difficult to play, especially with the traffic bugs. Uh, so yeah, keep that in mind. It's still a work in progress on trying to fix all this stuff, but as of now, the current date of recording, uh, there are still endless amounts of bugs in agents and in AI and all that stuff. So if you've gotten this far, I really appreciate it. I know it's been kind of a long video, but I did want to kind of put all my work and effort into this so we can get a good video out finally, uh, kind of just covering SimCity 5 and what I think about it in general. So hopefully this cleared a lot of things up for you guys and you now have a better understanding of what SimCity 5 is all about, uh, the pros and cons of it all, and uh, hopefully this helps you in your decision to buy or not buy SimCity 5. So 
if you think I missed something and you want to let other people know that are going to buy the game or not buy the game down below in the comments, that would be great so we can all kind of share our opinions of the game in the comment section down below. Uh, and as always, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.